in this video I want to take a look at how we could control a two aspect signal for our model railway. I'm using a button in this case at the moment but this can be changed. So here you can see the wiring diagram that we're going to be using. We have the 5 volts into pin 1, ground to pin 14, 100 NF capacitor which is across ground and 5 volts. We've got the 10K resistor, which is across VDD, or pin 1 and pin 4. This holds up in the correct state, 5 volts. On pin 2, we've got a switch, which is connected to ground. We are using an internal pull-up resistor on that pin. And then we've got a red LED on pin 10 via a 330 ohm resistor to ground and pin 9 a green LED via the 330 ohm resistor to ground. So once again I'm using the PIC 16F676 and I'm using MPLAB XIDE version 5.50 and XC8 version 2.36 for my C compiler. So the first thing we're going to do is configure our pragmas. So here you can see in the configuration bits, I've got the FOSC as int RCIO, which is for the internal oscillator function, and everything else is turned off. You can generate the code using this, but that has been shown in previous videos, so I won't show it again, but I have already copied and pasted it into here. I'm going to use the include xc.h library. I've defined the x frequency as 4 megahertz and then I have defined a green LED as RC1 pin or pin 9 and a red LED on RC0 or pin 10 on the pick. So in the void main void we do our usual bits of setup, which is ANSEL equals 0x00, all pins set to digital. We have the TRIS C equals 0x00, this sets all port C as outputs. We have TRIS A equals 0x00, all port A set as outputs until overridden. And then we have port C equals 0x00, all port C set to low at startup. You'll then see I have port A bits dot RA5 equals 1. This now sets pin RA5 as an input. I then need to set up the optional register and I'm going to set the bits dot N R A P U equals zero. This allows me to use the weak pull up resistors on port A. I will then set up W P U A bits dot W P U A five equals one. So this enables the pin to have its pull up used to hold the pin at five volts. Then I'll set the green LED equals one. So at start of that LED will be on. I then have the red LED as set to zero. So that LED will be off at start up. The final part of the code is the while loop or main function loop. And here you can see we've got an if statement which says if port a bit dot r a five equals zero. So the button has been pressed. We then move down to red LED equals 1, so the red LED will go on. And then we move to green LED equals 0. We then have the underscore delay underscore milliseconds set as 5,000 milliseconds, which is 5 seconds in this case. This can be extended to longer if you wish in your code. It then will go to green LED equals 1, so turn the green LED on. And then finally, 
red LED equals zero. And this will keep on looping forever to look to see if the push button has been pressed or not. If it has, it will react again to the code. Now, in theory, the next thing I possibly will do, well, I will swap out the button for an infrared sensor, which could be mounted under the track, and as the loco drives over it, it would trigger the signal. As with all the previous videos, I will make this code available on my GetUp page, so you can actually go and see it there and download it. And the only thing you will have to do is to remember to set up your preferences, which I've shown in previous videos, to make sure your pick is supplying the 4.75 volts to program the pick. I'm not going to go into programming it here because I've done that in previous videos. In the next video, I plan to show how we can use the timer zero to control some LEDs flashing.